Creative matchstick experiments and arts and crafts. This guy right here is takes paper planes and planes to the next level. As you guys can see, this plane may look a little familiar. I'm not about that life. I can't do any of these things. I have no artistic ability at all, but this guy created a whole fighter jet, then added matches to the back of it, so then he can light it on fire. Now that doesn't seem very safe because cardboard is flammable, but as you guys can see, this guy really went all out. Like, I could barely make a regular paper plane. This guy made an entire plane out of cardboard. Cardboard, I, I yeah, and even launches it off a ramp. That's freaking insane, what the? <laughs> all right, let's see how it goes. Oh, bro, it actually moves in everything. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, did anyone else think this was gonna launch super far? This <laughs> That was the most underwhelming launch I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. That is almost as bad as a Cyberpunk 2077 launch. Let me tell you, that thing was about to take off and then it just went nowhere. <laughs> Poor plane, bro. It didn't even make it off the ramp. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. What is this? This guy's adding a bunch of matches to... It looked like Play-Doh. All right. We got a bunch of balls. Bro, they look like little bombs. This guy's out here making little bombs on his backyard. A bombs of matches. Oh, God. Okay. Lighting this bad boy up. And boom. I... It's so beautiful how the matches just all go in like engulfs of flames, right? I just, ah, uh, man, I I would feel like it, it's so short lived. It like it's on fire for like maybe five seconds and then it's gone, right? Like all this work you just did, boom, gone. Like, look at this. Literally was there and now it's gone. Just all that work, boom. I mean, at least you have like the memories on, on video, right? Like, oh man, I worked so hard to make this happen. Why the heck did it just explode? <laughs> Why did it just explode like that? No, no freaking way. Are those sparklers? Are we adding sparklers inside of a watermelon? We are adding sparklers. That looks insane. Okay. Holy. Listen, if you want to really have a great 4th of July, Oh my, this is about to be insane. It's, I bet it's just gonna be an absolute flame. Oh my God. Look at this flame. That looks crazy. Oh, what the, it's, <laughs> it's exploding sparklers. Okay, I'm not sure if it's because the rubber bands are just blowing them out or why that's even happening. Maybe just like the pressure of all the heat. That is so cool. Holy, I love that. Look at all the cameras. Oh man, that's so awesome. Boom. It's like a volcano of sparklers. Just a nice eruption, eruption of sparklers. That makes me so happy. I love sparklers. Sparklers are like a happy, happy feeling. If you have, especially as a kid, if you have sparklers, oh, your whole life is, oh, this guy had to cut all these individual matches. Bro, that, I swear this takes hours. Like hours upon hours upon hours just for it all to go up in flames within seconds. <laughs> Holy, a volcano in the snow. Okay, that is pretty iconic. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. We got fire in the snow. And where, like, where even is this? It's in the middle of like nowhere, like in the woods. Bro, that's such a mess that you know for a fact this was not cleaned up. These matches just littered all over the floor, but the volcano did go up in flames, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. Wait, what the, what is this guy doing now? Oh no. Oh no, he's super gluing all, uh, what the? Is he making a house? Look at, using rulers, super glue. He's making a chair? What is this, a hammock? Uh-oh. Yeah, swing. No way, oh my gosh. Bro, like, arts and crafts to the next level. Literally arts and crafts to the next level. This guy glued all this. It's like, it's so pretty. Don't, don't light it on fire. It's nice how it is. Just leave it. Don't even, yes. Oh, hallelujah. No way. Is this truck actually going to move? It might actually move from the last watermelon we saw. This thing's about to go hundred miles an hour. Easy. No. Oh, let's see. We gotta wait for the explosion. Three, two, one. Explosion. Activate. <laughs> What the? This thing goes flying. Okay, that's cool. That, 
I get behind this one. This one's cool, especially because it's spark with the ramp and everything. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know why they did it like right at the end of the road, by the way. But regardless, that is freaking cool. They sent it flying. The GoPro didn't even last. The GoPro fell right off. It was like, yep, see you later. That is cool, though. Wait, now with the pickup truck. Okay. I like what we're doing here. I like what we're doing. Oh, they almost forgot to turn on the GoPro. That would have been that would have been bad. Good. And they glued it this time. Look at the... They, they used so much glue on the GoPro. Holy. It's like a thruster. I think this is how SpaceX rockets are, are launched, right? They just use sparklers. I'm pretty sure. That's what Elon Musk does. He just gets a bunch of sparklers. And he sends everybody to space. Boom. That's that's the new plan. Oh my freaking God. What is this? A bed of matches? What? Bro, that is actually insane. That is actually insane. Uh, what the? Why do they? Okay. You know what? Not even ask the question that you guys want the answers for. Bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. They had to manually put every single one of these matches down. These are probably hundreds. I don't know if it's hundreds of thousands, but definitely thousands of matches, possibly hundreds of thousands. I'm not sure, but like that. That's crazy. That is like so much like for it all to go up in flames just like that. All gone. All that work, all that time. Poof in flames. <laughs>